shouldn't even live your life based on affording people. God said he did not give you the spirit of fear, but you have the spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. So why live in fear? You don't want to do this because you might see them. You don't want to go there because they might be there. talk about that it's just like water we can't live without water we need water and everything we need water to drink to shower to cook our daily lives involves around water so the same the same goes for relationships we we need to build relationships we need each other we need each other. I mean, we can do without some people. You know what I mean? We can do without some people, okay? I said the greatest commitment of all is what? F-O-V-E. <laughs> I think I did it wrong. <laughs> and then look at that. Valentine's Day is coming. Valentine's is coming. Jesus said that the greatest commandments of all the commandments is love. To love our neighbors as we love ourselves. So we cannot live in this life without relationships. We need each other. We need anything without first establishing a relationship. And that relationship is just not one form of relationship. We all know the types. There are different types of relationships on different levels. So for today's conversation, I'm only going to focus on the character, just the character based. That's it. I'm not going to focus on giving you the list of different types of relationships. Not today, baby. So we're going to talk about just character, just character. So let's talk about character and it's kind of it's kind of hard to sometimes identify because you see the person they look like you they talk like you they walk like you they act like you they're in human form but are they really human beings? <laughs> are they really are they really Sometimes, not all sick people in the hospital, you know. They are right here in front of you, and you have no idea. Because some don't even know that you're sick. Some don't even know that you're sick. And I'm not talking about the medical type of sickness. No, I'm not talking about the medical type of sickness. I'm talking about the spiritual. They don't even know that they're sick. So how to point out characters <laughs> to form relationships? Do you understand like why you are gravitated to certain people? Why you like certain people? Why you are indifferent to certain people? Do you ever sit and truly understand the reason why certain people are just not your type of people? Only intake certain amount of those like certain people you can only tolerate just a little bit you can you can tolerate them for too long you can tolerate them for too long 
So the number one way to identify, we first have to understand that not all people who in a hospital are sick. There are some sick people walking about and you are interacting with them on a daily basis, on a day-to-day -day basis and they are sick. And the worst part about them, they don't even know that they are sick. That's worse. Because if you don't know, how can you truly get the help that you to recover because you don't know and no one can help you if you don't ask for help and you can't ask for help if you don't know that you need help you don't know that you need help so for me I see it like this <laughs> finding someone character you have to understand two things number one that person's upbringing that person's upbringing that person experiences education, what they expose themselves, and the second thing you have to understand, you have to be aware of the spiritual implications and know that witchcraft is real. There are some people who are bewitched and they don't even know it, and or they do know it. They don't know how to get help. They don't know where to get help from. And that bewitchment can put a veil on them that they don't even know that they are enslaved. They don't even know that they are suffering. They just know that they are unhappy. That's all they know. That they are unhappy. That's, that's as far as they know. That they just unhappy. They just not happy not happy people you can try to make life out of life but at the end of the day the relationships they have with people it shows that they are under bewitchment and i know people like everybody has different beliefs whether you believe it or not it still exists and you are still gonna it's still going to happen to you just because, oh, I don't believe in it, I don't believe in it. That don't mean that it's going to jump over you and skip you because you don't believe in it. Remember, it says, ignorance excuses no man. Ignorance excuses no man. And that man also translates as in for woman, so. Because man was the first creation on this earth, so. They use the they, they use the term man a lot in everything, but that also means woman as well. So ignorance excuses no man. You can't be ignorant to spiritual things. Cause if you're ignorant to spiritual things, it's worse. It's way worse than you being aware of it. And building relationships meaning that you have to understand that person's character. Who is who is that person? Aside from any other attachments, friends, husbands, wives, sisters, brother, you as a person, as me as Teresa, who am I? Who is Teresa? Aside from any other attachment that is linked to me, who am I as a person? What is my character? A nurturer? A communicator? A provider? Like, who am I as a person? That's what we are talking about today. Because aside from any other attachment, who that person truly is is what going to gravitate them to you and that's how the relationship will form. No two persons are the same. No two persons are the same. If I was to birth 30 and have 30 children, all 30 of those children would have different personalities. Did it all come out of one person? Yes. But they will all have different personalities. They will all have different life experiences. They will all not experience the same mother. Because it, for every child, 
their mother is in a different space their mother's in a different space of life their mindset is different so no one child will have the same experience will experience the same mother they will all have different experiences all of them different personality different everything but they all came out of the same womb the same woman they all have the same mother once you identify who you are as a person and be truthful to yourself and let the truth be so be truthful to yourself be truthful to yourself because half the time you are indifferent to a person because of their character because of their character you just not just not because you can relate to them no because of their character who they are as a person open open up your eyes you are establishing a relationship look for character I always look for character aside from every other thing I look for character is the number one I look for to establish any relationship that can be on any level character says a lot and that's what that is what I look for that's the number one thing I look for that person character before any other thing that come into place who is that person who is that person because you have to deal with that person on a regular basis on a regular basis and sometimes we are blindfolded when things happen because you just never took the time to study people. Observe who that person truly is. That's how you that's how you know the, the type of relationship you can you can retain with that person. That's how you will know the type of relationship that you can retain with that person. Like for example, people that call me Teresa, I know that they're not really close to me. Because if you truly are close to me, they don't even know like my name Teresa. Yes, they know my name Teresa, but they hardly ever call me Teresa. Unless they're like mad at me or something. They didn't call my full name. But other than that, it is either T, T T, Boyno, T T Boyno. Like it's just something other than Teresa. It's just something other than Teresa. You know the level of how that person is connected to you by the things they do. We need to build between relationships. That's all we have. We, all, we have each other. No man is an island. Identifying character, you need to number one, observe the person before you even bring them close to you. Observe the person. People show you who they are. You just not open you just not open up your eyes to truly see because the relationship can sometimes blindfold you until something happens and then it truly show their true color. And you be like, oh wait, I remember. Then you start to remember little incidents that happened before the misunderstanding transformed. Like you you now you now you would then be able to pick up things that you overlooked you're like i remember it start to you start to connect the dots identifying people character you first have to observe 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 their interactions with other people other people that you know that they know observe just observe who they are observe how Observe how they support you, how they talk to you, how they treat you, private and public. Observe how the names they call you, private and public. Observe, just open up your eyes and observe. Observe. You, if just, just by taking your time, just by taking your time, it will show you all that you need to know it will show you all do not be carried away by by the moments because moments come and go moments come and go don't be carried away by moments they come and go in the moment they show you love they show you attention they do this they do that those moments come and go so who is that person who 
it's that you still don't know who that person is you just know the moments so by observing taking your time you would then be able to open up your eyes to identify the character of that person and you're not carried away by the moments because those moments can fool you for a while in the moment you joke you laugh you eat you have a good time they show you attention they do and that is that's for all this is for all types of relationship this is for all types of relationships friendships I mean I'm not I'm not gonna go down the list of relationships you all know the, the types of relationships by observing it will show you who that person character is up your eyes when you have differences just just little just little misunderstanding it don't even have to be anything major look at how they handle the misunderstanding because in relationships there are going to be plenty of misunderstanding so in the way the approach that they handle that misunderstanding can show you their person character in the way in their approach of a misunderstanding will tell you who the, the will tell you the character of that person who you're dealing with look at how they handle misunderstanding open up your eyes to that their approach to differences and still maintain that relationship for me, one of my biggest pet peeves, and if you are really close to me, you know this. One of my biggest pet peeves is keeping our differences with us. We have a problem <clears throat> keeping our differences between us. I don't care how mad you are. I don't care. You need to talk to either me or God either me or god that's who you need to talk to and share our misunderstanding our differences with no one else should know no friends no mutual friends no whatsoever and they should not you should enhance it you should joke about it nothing of that nature that is one thing <laughs> i do not tolerate it must remain between us if you want to talk about it pray about it write about it don't go spreading it don't go getting other people opinions two people opinions is hard enough to come to an understanding you're going to add a third person to it and a fourth party to it and so on and so forth that's madness that is madness so listen i always say if you got a problem with me back keep it it's between me and you don't ever share with anybody else ever share with anybody else because on the day we settle our differences the day we settle our differences now what you share with this person you share with that person now what so look at their approach on misunderstanding how they handle misunderstanding because it's part of relationship it's not gonna be the last it's many more had because two human beings, two different lives, two different perspectives are gonna clash. That's just part of that's just what it is. How that person handle misunderstanding so still maintain their relationship and a healthy relationship to at that. A healthy relationship. Not just an open field just because of convenience. But a healthy relationship but they try to keep it keep that line open no but to maintain a healthy relationship treating other people bad and they're coming to me and treating me good just don't sit right with me it just don't it don't even look right it don't even feel right none of the none of it how you gonna treat somebody bad and they come to me and treat me good like it was that's a clash of character, like because if you're a good person, you'll be a good person to not just me, but people who you interact with. That shows a person character. 
they only be nice to certain kind of people, but then the other then they're not nice. That shows character. I understand every relationship on different levels. But I'm talking about character. I'm not talking about the levels of the relationship, the connection. I'm not talking about the level of connection with a person because no one person will be will have the same connection because you will experience a different type of person based on your character. The type of character you are will brings out a different character in that person. So I'm not talking about connection. I'm talking about how they treat that person on a general on a general aspect, not connection. We all know connection is is formed by who you are. Like based on your character will brings a different type of person out of that person. So no one person experiences the same person equally. Do that make sense? Are you kidding me? No one person experiences the same person equally. No one person because our characters are different. So the connection is not going to be equal. My character is different from your character. Your character is different from my character. So the level of connection you may have with that person is not going to be the same level of connection I have with that person because of our character differences. So I'm not talking about connection, just in general how that person treat other people who you know and who you don't know. It says a lot about their character. So observe that too because it is very crucial, it's very 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 crucial to understand the character of a person. Who are you? Who are you aside from any and every attachments of you? Your character. Who is Teresa Boyuno Munger? Who am I aside from any other attachment? Who am I as a person? My development as a person. my socialization as a person who am I because sometimes we tend to use our attachments to identify you know when you go to a job you'll be like tell me about yourself and you start to list your experiences and attachments but no like truly tell me about yourself Truly tell me about yourself aside from all other achievements, all other attachments. Tell me about yourself. Who are you as a person? So open up your eyes and understand people for who they are as a person. Not by any other attachment, not by any other connection, but who that person is. Because no one wants to be used. I don't, at least <laughs> no sound person I should say that again. No sound person wants to be used. I don't want to be liked for what I'm doing for you. I don't want to. I don't want a relationship to only be fed on what I can do for you or what I'm doing for you. Based on that, then we have a relationship. That's not something that you want to have in this life because change happens and you have to be able to adapt to changes. Anything can happen. Only doing things with somebody because you want to have a meeting, their relationship with them, it is useless. You might as well stop right now. Something can happen and you no longer have that strength, have that time, have that access to do that. Then what? Then those then there's no relationship. Then there's no relationship. So relationship is not factor on what I'm doing for you or what I'm giving you or who you are as a person who are you as a person aside from what I can do for you or what I'm doing for you no one wants to be used no sound person wants to be used no no but to have a relationship for who you are not for what you have or for who you are because life happens, things change, people change, economy change, situation change, environment change. So what? You're only going to be attached by condition. When that condition is not something permanent, 
because it can always change it can flip in a in a matter of seconds your whole life can change so if you only have a relationship based on condition i suggest you realize that you are in danger danger okay danger because it's not by what you can do for a person what you can give a person but for who you are who you are as a person you cannot buy somebody love you can't do things to someone to love you in return you can't do things and then use it as an investment so that they now have to prove their love to you because of all you have done for them you don't do things for somebody as an investment as an investment so now they have to prove their love to you because you have done so much for them that's not how love is developed that's not that's not that's not love that's condition that is not love because who you are as a person is what people are gravitated to it's what people is what is the reason why you are loved it is the reason why you are loved it's not about what you can do for them what you have done for them what you able to do for them is who you are as a person that is what keeps a relationship going that's what keep a relationship going who you are as a person you can't buy love you cannot buy someone love do things for them in exchange for their love and then get mad and then gets mad when it's not in return because that's not what you're supposed to do be yourself let the person love you for who you are as a person by your character not by what you are doing for them or how you are doing it or who or what you can do no let the person love you for your character for your character because at the end of the day that's what's going to maintain that relationship because for example if you're doing all this for them and something happened you're no longer in a position to do those things for that person do you want them to turn their back on you? Or you will feel entitled now because all you have done for them, you'll feel entitled that now they're supposed to stay. But all you was doing from the beginning was just buying the love. You wasn't love they wasn't loving you for who you are as a human being, your character. They were loving you by the things you were doing for them, the things you can do for them by your access not by you being yourself your personality your character your true self you have to open up your eyes open up your eyes and realize look for character look for character built character it's what it's what give is what gravitates you to each other your character not by any other means but your character and no one person can be the same no one person can be the same don't go about comparing your lives to anybody else's life no one person are the same no one human being can be the identical same you can be inspired but that's about it no human being are the same so you cannot be anybody else and they cannot be you people love you for you and people love them for them so be yourself show love through your character and do not allow yourself to be used, mistreated. Relationship is maintained through character based, not by any other extension. Those others are just bonuses. They are just bonuses. That's it. They are just bonuses. But loved is through your character, who you are as a person. You not let the truth be told. Hey, change your mindset and change your life. Don't try to do stuff for people to love you. No, those are just conditions. And conditions can change. Understand that. So until we meet again.